Governor Krista Nunu taken to Canaan by helicopter this afternoon after surveying the damage all across Grafton County. Major flooding washed away roads and scattered rocks and debris. The damage is significant, without a doubt. It's manageable, but it is significant, both from a state level and, more importantly, from a, a town level and, and some of the personal residences. Some of the hardest hit areas are in Orange, where DOT crews worked on Orange Road and Cardigan Mountain Road. The culvert plugged, the water backed up, and then it levels itself out, and the road then becomes a weir, essentially, overflows, and it just starts wearing away underneath the pavement and working its way back. And then, depending on how long and how hard it rains, this is what you get. Gravel is being laid down first in all the damaged roads to make them passable again. Then they'll be paved. Tug Mountain Road has also been hit hard. Eight to ten foot ditches, just no place to even walk, let alone drive, all the way down through. A couple vehicles trapped on the road. One of those vehicles belongs to Paul Rogers. It's incredible if you see it. I mean, I was here for Irene. This blew Irene away. The governor says officials from FEMA will be visiting the state to document the damage. It's extensive, nothing we can't handle, nothing we haven't seen before, but it is extensive, so we're going to make sure we have the manpower on the ground to take care of it. Now we are told by DOT that most of the impacted roads here in this area will have at least one lane open by the end of the day. We're live in Canaan tonight, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.